what character might Lion bring out here. He's bringing out the Wii Fit. Um, again, not too familiar with this matchup, but I imagine it's somewhat even because he does have options to contest with Spin Dash, mm -hmm. um, like that soccer ball. Um, yeah. And then, of course, Wii Fit in advantage can be super strong with um, the down B, of course. Uh, so, yeah, really. Oh, okay, so that's something there. He used the neutral B to cancel out the spin dash from Sonic mm -hmm. there. Super smart. Um, yeah, early on, definitely the Sonic player needs to adapt and like notice that early on that he's going to keep doing that. Um, um, but a little bit of camp in here. Well, before you get too far with that, we did actually see both of these players play earlier in bracket, and it ended in 2 1 Lime's favor. Um, and he really? did use like lots of the projectiles just to kind of stuff out spring dash or spin dash as well as we saw a lot of the headers being used in very creative ways to just kind of like target sonic and like a kind of act like a homing missile towards them so i think we will consider uh keep seeing that um lime overall just being one of the best players here in this bracket alongside spring yale however uh, who we see enter a lot of our brackets yeah, absolutely um I mean, he's showing, like, really good dominance here. He's, like, showing uh, a lot of, like, uh, calling out a lot of Springy's options here and not yeah. really getting too... Well, as I say that, he just gets stuffed out with the soccer ball with the back air. But uh, you can see he's very confident on the Wii Fit here. He definitely knows his Wii Fit tech with the soccer ball and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, definitely knows what he's doing, but, you know, Springy's not out of this yet. At 106 with... Um, what's, the, what's the down B call for Wii Fit? Deep breathing? Deep breathing, yeah. Yeah. The move can be just so powerful, especially at spent. But an up smash can be just as powerful. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's up two stocks to one here. Yeah, no, it definitely does look like it's um, in Lime's favor by a lot. Um, but you can't really count Spring Yale out, knowing that like how these side blast zones work. Um, Spring Yale can just kind of carry him into the like side of the stage and then catch him with the forward air, which would be very difficult for him to recover from. Right. A uh, bit of camp in here, not really one to approach. He's trying to charge his uh, his little sun salutation. Uh, the spin dash is going on. Uh, a little too cocky there with the dash attack. Uh, I do that a lot with Terry, where I, I'll do dash attack. It's very risky and then get punished for it. Mm -hmm. But uh, Springy's looking to take the stock here. Oh man, catch him with that up smash. I definitely don't think that Springy is out of this set just yet. Um, just knowing like how no. strong Sonic is and like uh, how he can just kind of like combo through stocks. Um, he's definitely not too far gone, uh, even though this match is seeming more lime favored. Absolutely, and of course, you know, he still, he does have that advantage because, you know, he's played with uh, lime earlier in the bracket. So maybe he's thinking to himself, okay, what are some stuff I could improve on uh, from that step moving into this set? Uh, I thought he killed himself here for a second, but Sonic does have a really good recovery. No, yeah, that spring is just super fast and goes super, super far. He's definitely got to be on his toes here. Deep breathing. A lot of things are going to kill Sonic, especially at this percentage. But he's going to go off stage. Oh, wow. Oh. Getting caught there by the what? down air. Um, wow. Yeah, Lime Good just had that ready for him. Uh, I will say one adaptation that we noticed that Lime did make was that Springy does like to do like a lot of like jump, like homing attack. And Lime was reacting to a lot of those and just like uh, being ready for them, ready to catch it and punish it. Uh, and just a quick reminder, the winner of this set does uh, guarantee top three. And the loser of this set will place fourth for the bracket. And this is a best of three, not a best of five. Okay, so we're pretty far in the bracket here. Mm -hmm. So we have these two players, then G Gelato, Asor. Which, my prediction is we're going to see Gelato, Asor, and Grands. And I see either one of them taking it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we just might see Lime and Grands. Yeah, or I... And Grands, you never know. I think we could see Lyman Grand, but he would have to make it through Asor though, in Losers, but he hasn't played Asor yet in this bracket. Um, Lime opting to just go ahead and camp off stage there with that um, down air, or down B. Absolutely here. Oh, right, I've seen a little lag. bit of lag. That's my bad, I'm actually lag switching them. How could you, Matthew? Rigging your own bracket. Oh, very nice there to call out the spin dash. He's going to take a lot of percent, 73% already. Man, we Fit, people undervalue this character, but we Fit in the right hands can do a ton of damage. Tries to close the stock out there with the back air. Not going to get it, though. Not just uh, yet. And again, he's getting hit with there. 
No, yeah, I do I wonder. Yeah, how knowing this is his like um last set for the bracket potentially, or last game for the bracket. Um, how springy L is gonna change up? Uh, we're gonna be caught there by that neutral B. I uh, notice how um Lime was just very patient with his timing there, knowing like what Sonic wanted to do, and how he had to aim it to frame trap with it effectively. Just overall, just showing like a lot of player knowledge, but Ooh. Springy L gonna be able to turn that right around with that huge offstage conversion. Uh, those are super amazing. important Reach here at this like higher in. level of gameplay. Absolutely, uh, and, and and you know the awareness there of knowing what Lime's gonna do. He did the mm -hmm. uh, homing attack into the back air to read the jump, and okay, he tried to get the normal attack, uh, normal get up punish there with Nair. Not gonna find it though. Uh, a little bit of scrambling though. Uh, yeah. oh, I thought another back air was going to come out, but no lime. He has a top player adaptation for sure. No, I think you've also kind of like been able to notice like um, there's some hits that lime knows he can take off stage, and some he knows that he can't. But being caught there with that header, uh, his Sonic and lime both taunt. I I love those characters taunts. They're so goofy. They're hard to take seriously. Like, oh man, Sonic's taunting on me. Like, ooh, oh no. I, um, we're gonna be seeing lime or um. Springy just doing a really nice job here at the ledge. Um, oh man, and uh, Lime not going to be able to recover, uh, giving that game two to Speedy. There. Yeah. All right, one one here. Now you gotta think about these players. Of course, Lime here, not Lime. Um, Speedy. Springy here with the adaptation, kind of calling Oopsies. out a lot. Yeah, uh, kind of calling out a lot of Lime options uh, that we saw, of course, with the soccer ball on the earlier stock, and then with the jump back air. Uh, on the first stock and uh, you might want to like I know most sets uh, in tournament are on PS2 but you know maybe we, won't, we might uh, see switch and stage uh, I don't know exactly what stage is beneficial towards we fit but I know you know of course there's some good flat stages that benefit Sonic a lot and we are gonna see either a character switch or a stage switch here I think we probably will be seeing a stage switch just because of how dominant that game was um... absolutely But I'm really and, not too sure. Yeah. And as far as like character switches go, I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, he's gonna stick with his character here. Alright, game three here. I do what, think this that is loser semis? Yeah, loser semis. Okay, just like I called flat stage FD and give that momentum to Sonic. Uh, I believe this is also kind of okay for Wii Fit. Um you know, I don't have too much knowledge fighting Wii Fit. I've only fought one really good Wii Fit mm -hmm. by the name of Zafro. He's a streamer. He's actually really good. Um, so, yeah, but besides fighting him, I've never really fought a top-level Wii Fit. So, seeing Lime in action here is quite fascinating. Ooh, not quite going to get it, though. The soccer ball saves him, dude. Of course, he's going to get the F-Till here. Mm -hmm. Try to get it a... Uh, Ledge trap here, not gonna get it though. A little too overzealous with the up smash there. Gonna get the deep breathing off. Lots of camp in here, but I think that's like an adaptation that we're seeing here is Springy is deflecting that soccer ball so much and yeah. is punishing Lime for it. He's gotten hit so many times for that, and I think Lime just needs to recognize I should stop doing this as much as I am. Well, I almost feel like that's like the main tool that really worked for Lime in the first set. Um, and now we're seeing Springy making these adaptations, but also not in a way that's just like, um, ruining Lime's gameplay either. Um, that back air coming through, uh, we're going to be changing his angle, uh, thanks to the header there. Um, almost seeing it happen there again, uh, but still just taking just enough knockback to get that star KO. Uh, no, but we've seen some very cool clips from both of these players so far, both of them showing off just the complete mastery of their character. Um, Absolutely. And you know, uh, how these players are playing right now you would mm -hmm. imagine like this that would be a pretty long you know like 20 minute set or something like that right not at all no but, i mean the game the games are, are going very fast right now i mean like you see all this uh the sun salutations the soccer ball the spin dashes all these you know options to kind of get away from one another and yet you know stocks are just flying left and right mm -hmm. i think once you do get to like a certain level with these characters as well uh, you can just see how these characters like uh these players have honed their characters advantage states um, which I think is super important. Um, yeah, tries to call out a jump there with the F smash. Not quite gonna get it though. Giving a punish mm -hmm. for it. Uh, 
bit of a random up smash there. Not quite sure why he did that. But, uh, ooh, oh, okay, that was really sick. What he did there was uh, the soccer ball was coming at him. He saw it, and then he did, like, a spin dash cancel to avoid it. Really, really cool stuff. Yeah. I do also just think we're seeing um, Springy just make a little bit more brave plays than he did uh, in the last set and in these last games, doing things like going for a down air off stage, things like that. And I think it definitely just shows you can kind of tell he's, like, willing to try new things just to make adaptations to win the set. Uh, we're going to be caught by the sun there. Uh, right towards the blast zone. Now let's see if Springy can make that punish off stage. Going to do a lot of damage to Wii Fit, but as we know, Wii Fit has that amazing recovery. He definitely can come back. Um, Absolutely. Very, very good recovery. However, the only downside with that recovery is it's it's kind of like a slightly better Ken Tatsu, where it's like it's good, it'll get you back on stage. However, it, it can be punished pretty freely. Um, but, you know, not going to get punished there. And, well, you know, Springy's going to take Dixie 4 for his troubles. I think the thing with the Wii Fit Up B is it does have that consistent hitbox as well, which means characters are a little bit more stubby, like Sonic, where he, he doesn't really have any disjoints. Um, there's only so much that he can do uh, to it. Alrighty, Springy trying to work this way back, only down 50%, but oh. not an ST just yet, um, and not taking any damage for it either. Um, gonna be getting some damage here, uh, and maybe can ledge trap uh, Lime. But not gonna find anything just quite yet. Uh, missing on his follow up there. Uh, that was one of his first like follow up misses. Um, and neither one of these players has a super notable lead at all. Absolutely, he can go in either one's favor. Mm -hmm. But one thing I noticed with Springy when it comes to his ledge trapping specifically is he yeah. does the same thing kind of where he does dash back forward smash trying to catch something. Uh, he, he has been using a lot of forward smashes, yeah. Yeah, and I think, you know, maybe like a runoff back air to try to get the tech check uh, instead of that to kind of mix up his options and have maybe Lime not really expect it and miss the tech would work out a little bit more. But, I mean, maybe. he's still keeping it even here. He's still keeping the momentum uh, in either player's favor. Oh, here. man. Oh, that's not going to see a huge punish the there. And going low so Wii Fit can't really punish that too easily. Uh, but Wii Fit does have the deep breathing and the sun, but going to be able to duck underneath the sun Ooh. and get that forward air there. Send him right on into the blast Dallas. zone. Um... Oh man, that back air play. probably saved him the game, just seeing how we fit ledge guardian spins this game. Um, hey, super like scary, and that overextension there on that up B. Again, that wow, back air, that was amazing. Kill. Wow, I'm very impressed by that, actually. Um, Good stuff to springy. No, that was very, very surprising, just seeing him like, super overcommit with that up B. Um, and that would mean he would have to like input special uh, to like bypass that ledge, and then have that back air buffered. Uh, to hit we fit before that side B came out because as we know that CB does have the spike box on it. Um, very Absolutely. very good gameplay there from Springy. Yeah, and uh, that was loser semis. We're going to be going in this uh, loser finals here in a second, and then after that, of course, grand finals. 